Who's to say what's fair or not fair? Why the good die young and others live long lives? Many believe that there's a higher power at work, aware of our every thought, joy, and sorrow. Yet, others believe that life ends at the grave. But in there lays the beauty of it all. We get to choose. We all have a great purpose, but some have that extra something, that sparkle in their eye, that magic in their soul that touches every heart they come in contact with. Take Lucy Shimmers, for example. She's one of those rare ones indeed. Some may even call her an old soul. You're, you're the princess, but I'm gonna win. I am going yeah. You okay? What do you see? Grandpa. Where? I don't see anybody. Grandpa Jackson, I can see him. My dad? What? Honey, he died last summer. He's in heaven. You know that. But I see him. He's right there. I know how much you miss him, so do I, but... No one's there. Sure he is. I can't see him. <laughs> Let's get you inside. You still have a fever. I'm gonna take you to the doctor first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, mommy. I'm gonna go check on something. Dinner's almost ready. I'll be right back. Hey, I made your favorite, mac and cheese. No, thank you, mommy. I'm just tired. You need to eat, just a few bites. Then you can take a bath and go straight to bed. Okay, mommy. Couple bites, and that's it. Okay. Mommy, is Christmas almost here? It's coming soon. Today's December 1st. We have 24 more sleeps until Christmas. Good, that means I have time to finish my book. What book? Of me and Jesus. <coughs> it has lots of pictures. Oh, and there's a sad man in my dreams. What kind of man? I don't know his name. But I'm pretty sure he was sad. Hmm. Okay, well, let me know how I can help, okay? Okay, Mommy. Mommy, can I mark the days on the chalkboard? Sure, that'll be your job. Hi, Daddy. You're supposed to be in bed. What you doing? Hmm? Just working on my book. Oh. Who are you drawing? A picture of Jesus. Oh. You know they also call him the Prince of Peace? Yeah, because he brings peace in our hearts. That's right. Who else are you drawing? There's a sad man in my book. Oh. So me and Jesus will be his friend. Yeah? I'm sure that will make him really happy. Hey, look at me. I'm very proud of you. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's get you to sleep. You're okay. sick and we need you to feel better, okay? Okay. Good night, Daddy. Good night.
I love you. I love you. No, me more. No, me more. <laughs> no, me more. Me more. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Let's go to sleep, okay? Okay. All right, I love you. Love you too. Hi, Princess. What are you doing? I'm working on my book. I see. Do you mind if I stay in your room for a while? I promise I'll be real quiet. I don't mind. I like you in here. It makes me happy. Me too, Princess. Me too. We're best friends, right, Grandpa? That's right. We are. We're very best friends. Grandpa, <coughs> I'm not feeling so very good. I know. Why don't you close your eyes and get some sleep now? Please don't leave, Grandpa. I won't. I promise I'll, I'll be right here. Okay. Night, princess. I love you. It's like she actually saw him. Like she actually believed it. She has a very vivid imagination. Yeah. Tell me about it. <clears throat> she's also taking this book that she's writing really seriously. Did she tell you about a man she saw in her dreams? She did. She even showed me a picture of him, but I don't recognize who he is. Me neither. We've been blessed with a beautiful little girl. Honey, I'm worried about her. Everything will be fine. The doctor will figure everything out tomorrow. I'm sure it's just a cold. Everything will be okay. Let's just get some rest. His kidneys are failing. There's nothing more we can do for him here. What do you suggest? He needs to be transferred to another hospital and get on dialysis right away. He'll be put on a transplant list. He needs a new kidney or he won't make it. I can hear you. Good. You need to hear the truth, Edgar. I don't care if I die. It's the only way out. With a transplant, you've got a lot of life ahead of you. You only have a few more years on your sentence. There's no point saving me. You really should read the Bible. Get a true second chance. You can have mine. Take it. It's not for me, Pastor. I'm sure I'm getting exactly what I deserve. If you're getting what you deserve, I know you believe in God. He can make miracles in the most unforgiving places. Looks like I'm out of time for second chances. I know your family abandoned you. And you've lost hope. But there is hope. If you'd read the Bible, you'd see that Jesus is 
telling us that his forgiveness and his mercy are available to all who want it. He's the only one you need to impress. I'm not interested. I believe in you, Edgar. I'm going to talk to the warden and suggest that he sign off on you leaving here and go into a hospital that can help. faith. You've got nothing to lose. Can't think of that now. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. You need to save your strength. We'll talk to the warden and see if we can get started on the paperwork. Is your teddy sick? Does she need a checkup? Yeah, she's breathing a little bit hard a little bit. Okay, let me check her out. Thanks. You're welcome. She just got sick by the fan. All the ants are in her bones. They're biting her right now. She okay. have not eaten a lot of fluids and a lot of water. She didn't take a lot of water a little bit. She's doing good. She'll Thanks. be okay. You're taking good care of Is her. Is there anything wrong in her? Nope, she's doing just fine, sweetheart. So I reviewed her x-rays, and she definitely has pneumonia. Pneumonia? How serious is it? Well, it can be serious if not treated, but we'll get her started on an antibiotic right away, and she should start to feel better in a few days. Make sure she gets plenty of rest and drinks a lot of fluids. You too, Daddy. Don't worry, Mommy. I'll be better. Yeah, you will. You're a bright star, Lucy, aren't you? Yes, I am. My mommy and daddy think so. I have no doubt. Let's get you feeling better. Okay. Oh no, it's your beak. Here's her prescription. Make sure she takes all of her antibiotics. And if she's not feeling better in a few days, bring her back in. Or if she's getting worse, take her to the ER. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Lucy. It was good Bye. to see you again. Bye, Dr. Miller. Come here. With the pen. I'm gonna go get you some medicine, okay? Okay. I'll get you all better. What about my Taysom? He said that she was okay. Okay. Why do you think she would say she saw Dad? Maybe she did. That's the house we raised you kids in. You know, your father and I bought that house after we first got married. So, why wouldn't he want to be surrounded by all those great memories? I know, Mom, but she didn't actually see him. You know, kids... Kids are very intuitive. And Lucy, Lucy's always been extra special. Besides, you know how much your father adored her. <laughs> they were like two peas in a pod. You know, she's mostly around adults, so she is, she's a lot more grown up than most kids her age. This doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. You know how much your father loved the holidays, especially Christmas. I just think it's her over-exaggerated imagination. You know, I like the idea that her grandpa would appear to her. It makes me feel like he's closer to us than we know. I sure do miss him. I know, Mom. So do I. I better go. OK, uh, please. Let me know as soon as you hear anything from the doctor. I will. OK. Love you. I love you, too.
All right, let's go. Move it. Fine, we can play that way. No problem. Take your hands off me. Ain't no need for that. Come on, Edgar. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Give the man some room. I'm gonna sit on a stupid thing. Suit yourself. signed off on this because you deserve a second chance, Edgar. I've always found the answers to the questions I was looking for in this book. I hope you decide to read it. And I'll be back to visit. Count on that. Take care of yourself. You'll be leaving here in a body bag. You have my number. Please call me if you want us to talk. Thank you. Well, it looks like we're good. I'll have an armed guard stationed here 24 seven. You shouldn't have any problems. We'll do our best to take care of him, but in his condition and the fact that he's a convict puts him way down on the transplant list. The likelihood of him finding a donor is slim. I'm aware of that, but we still follow the procedures of saving lives. Those cuffs are not to come off, and the only time he's to leave this room is when he goes to his dialysis treatments. He won't leave our site, and if he tries, he won't get very far. And the man can barely walk. Only in extreme circumstances are you to draw your weapon, understood? Understood. I'm going to have you work swing shifts. You just as well stay. Yes, sir. I'm going to have you work graveyards. No problem, sir. Well, we need to get back. Good day. Thank you, gentlemen. If you need anything, let me know. All right, will do. Okay, baby, let's take some medicine. Ready? No, Daddy, I don't want to take that. That tastes disgusting. Lucy, you need to stop giving me a hard time because you need to take your medicine so you start feeling better. <laughs> now he knows how I felt. Your daddy used to do the same thing to me when he was little. <laughs> Lucy, what are you laughing at? Grandpa said you used to give him a hard time when you was little. Lucy, no one's there, okay? So stop making up stories. Okay. Find that you to be with me. What's going on in here? This little girl isn't taking her medicine. Lucy. Here. Open up. Let's see? Was it so hard? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I get out of the shower, it's time for you to go to bed, okay? Okay. 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 No, so now you're gonna be nice to me, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Pri. You see? I made you some dinner. <laughs> Chicken soup. Oh, mommy, I'm not 
not hungry. Please, Lucy. You need to eat. Just a few bites. Okay, Mommy. Good girl. Lucy, who are you blowing a kiss to? Grandpa. Lucy, can you see Grandpa? Yeah. Hmm. Have a cracker. You can dip it in the soup. Yep, it's yummy. <laughs> of Herod, the king, behold, they came from wise men. Olivia and Ian high fives. When the road gets tough, remember your love. You are worth more than you say. Stronger than you believe. You are brave. I'll tell you a story about baby Jesus. I'd like to get a chest x-ray to see if her pneumonia has progressed. We'll also need to draw some blood work as well. And she seems to be dehydrated. Um, so I'm gonna have the nurses start some IV fluids. Will she be okay? Once we get the results back in the next few hours, we can determine her treatment. We'll do our best to take care of her. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Sweetie girl, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Daddy and I will be with you until you're better. <coughs> okay. We love you. I love you too. How are you feeling? A little bit sleepy. Well, we'll get you all feeling better, okay? Okay. You'll get some good rest.
I don't recognize him. Who is he? I don't know, but I think he needs help. Maybe. Do you see Grandpa now, Daddy? No. Because he's not there. Why don't you believe me? I believe that you think you see him. Because I do. Okay. I believe you. No, you don't. But you will. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Her fever's down and the ivy helped, but I still have some concerns. Okay. I compared her x-ray to the one taken in Dr. Miller's office and her pneumonia has progressed. Uh, at this point, she needs to be admitted to the hospital for IV antibiotics and close observation. How long does she have to stay at the hospital? At least a few days, uh, but it really depends on how she responds to the antibiotic course. I realize how difficult this is for you and your husband. We're gonna do everything in our power to get her through this. Thank you. I drove through the night to get her as fast as I could. How is she doing? You know, I'm not going anywhere. You just let me know whatever I can do to help. Here. Really glad you're here, Mom. Me too, Grandma. That's what grandmas are for. And I will be here as long as you need me. Okay, Grandma. Stop. Keep moving. See, Daddy, that's the sad man I was telling you about in my dreams. I told you he needs help. That's nice, honey. You're a really good artist, but I don't think that's him. I don't know. I think I think it looks a lot like him. Me too. Okay, enough with all the dreams and seeing ghosts, okay? Daddy? Yes, baby? You got issues. You need lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Yeah. That was actually very funny. I have to be nice like Polly Let's go. is. <laughs> you doing okay, Lucy? Doesn't hurt very much. No? Well, that's good. You are very brave. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Stanswick should be here this afternoon to check her out. Let me know if you need anything. We will, thank you. Hey, you are very brave. I'll be right back. Excuse me. How can I help you? Um, I was just wondering what the story was with the guy that was handcuffed to his wheelchair. Oh, he's a prisoner. He's here because his kidneys are failing. Why isn't he in a prison hospital? Because they don't have the staff or required medical equipment. He's on a transplant list. Okay. Should I be concerned? No, he's guarded 24 hours a day. You have nothing to be worried about. He's very sick. He can barely walk. But we can find you another room on another floor when something opens up, if you'd like. Right now, we're just all filled up. No, it's okay. I was just, I was just curious. Thank you. No problem. I'm here if you need me.
I'm sorry I can't be there to cheer you up, Peanut. I just got my old hip replaced, and I'm just not very good at walking yet. Otherwise, I'd be on an airplane and come see you. It's okay, Grandpa. I know you'd be here if you could. You know I would. We can stay in touch on FaceTime. I love seeing your happy face. I love seeing your happy face too, Grandpa. Let me say hi to your mother real quick. Okay, Grandpa. Bye. I love you. I love you too. And I want to talk to you. Hi, Dad. I wish I could be there in person to be with you. I understand. I love you. I love you too. We'll be in touch. Bye now. Bye. Why is everybody so sad? Yeah, why is everybody so sad? I have strawberry ice cream. Mm. Strawberry ice cream, my favorite. Strawberry ice cream was also your Grandpa Jackson's favorite. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. I can have some extra blankets and pillows brought in just in case you want to stay the night. That'd be great. I can eat a lot of ice cream. That makes two of us. <laughs> Just buzz if you need me. Thank you. <coughs> this is fun. You are positively irresistible. Because I am. I know. I could just gobble you right up. You are the <laughs> best girl. Sounds like a party in here. It is a party. It's an ice cream party. Want some? Oh, I'm OK, but thank you. My name is Lucy Shimmers. I'm for you all. Nice to meet you, Lucy. I'm Dr. Stanswick. I'll be taking care of you while you're here at the hospital. Cool. How old are you? Lucy, that's not polite to ask people their age, only children. It's OK, really. Lucy, I'm in my 40s, 45 to be exact. That's really old. <laughs> yeah, it is. So how are you feeling today? Better than last week. She means last night. Gotcha. That's a pretty bad cough you have there. Yeah. Well, I have some more medicine I want you to take. Hopefully it will start to make you feel better. Good, because everybody's worried about me. They must really love you. This much <laughs> to the moon and back. That's a lot. You are a very lucky little girl. I am. Mind if we talk in private? Yeah, sure. Lucy? I'll be back to check on you every day. Good, nice to meet you. Lucy, the pleasure's been all mine. That's a very special little girl you have in there. I think so. Thank you. I wanted to update you on what's been going on. Lucy's white blood cell count came back elevated, which suggests a significant bacterial infection. It's important that we treat her with IV antibiotics because if the bacteria gets into her bloodstream, it can be very dangerous and lead to septic shock. Septic shock? It's a reaction to the infection in the blood, which can be life-threatening. You're telling me my daughter can die. I'm sorry to worry you. That's the worst case scenario. Hopefully it won't come to that, and the antibiotics and other treatments will help. I can sense your concern, but don't worry. Lucy is in good hands. If there's anything you need at all, please let us know. Problems? Nope. Good. You can go. I'll take it from here. All right. Have a good night. You too, Wally. What are you hiding? Contraband is not allowed. Don't make me ask you again. What's in your pocket? Oh, 
Isn't that cute? Is this your family? No, too bad you're not going to ever see him again, but I don't see a problem with you keeping it. How are you feeling, Lucy? Not very good. Oh, I bet. Hopefully these new antibiotics will start working and you'll get to feeling better in a few days. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. It's been a long day. I think it's time for this little princess to go to sleep. I'll stay the night. You girls go home and get some good air rest. No, I can stay. I can stay too. It's okay, I got it. Um, we'll take turns. Okay. Call if anything changes. You stay with Daddy. Okay? I'll be back first thing in the morning. I love you. I love you. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> love you. This is a bite. Should we say prayer? I'll say. Okay. Lean forward. Lean forward. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Please, thank you for my family. And my mommy. And bless the Sandman and my dreams. And help me to get better. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Okay. Okay, now go back, Daddy. What are you up to, huh? <laughs> Nothing, Daddy. I'm just tired, so are you. I am? Yes, you are. <sighs> yeah. I guess I am a little tired. I love you, Angel. I love you too, Daddy. Uh, and you too, Bear. You too, son. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, hi there. My name is Lucy Shimmers. I'm five years old. What's your name? Bart. My name is Bart. Are you sad? I lost my wife just recently. And it makes me sad sometimes. Don't worry, Jesus loves you. I'll try to remember that. Thank you. I will draw a picture for you and give it to you tomorrow. Hi, Bart. Thank you. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Princess. Where are you going? To visit a friend. We're not friends yet, but we will be. Oh. Well, 
I think I know which friend you're talking about. Do you mind if I tag along? Not at all. Grandpa? Yes? Why am I strong when you're around? Well, because angels have a special strength to give to those who believe. Cool. Grandpa, can you make me all better? I promise. Everything's gonna be okay. Do you believe me? I believe you. Good, because you have a special work to do. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Now, you're gonna have to sneak past that guard over there to get into the room. So we're gonna go down by the door, and on the count of three, I'm going to turn on the fire alarm. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. This door without setting off the alarm. You're gonna wake up the other patients. Yeah, I, I didn't touch it. It just went off. Well, someone had to have touched it. So. That wasn't me. What do you want? It's to be your friends. You don't want to be my friend. Sure do. You're sad. I saw you in my dream. I'm sure it wasn't me. Yes, it was. I saw you. Jesus, show me your face. Well, I don't want friends. And I don't believe in Jesus. Jesus believes in you. You're the little girl I saw in the hallway over there. Yep, sure was me. Hmm. I'm writing a book, and you're in it. You don't even know me. Why don't you just leave and go back to where you came from? Okay, but I'll see you tomorrow. What for? So we can read from the Bible. First, we will start with our free white man. I'm going to be taken off for the day, so if you do need to go through this door, then please pull up the nurse station, okay? They'll let you through just fine, okay? Thanks. Sure thing. Whatever. Just leave me alone and go back to where you came from. Okay. See you tomorrow. You won't. You're not coming back. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Nobody. I heard talking. You're losing it, man. Talking to yourself. Not another word out of you. Good teamwork, Grandpa. It sure was. Now, you need to get some sleep. Okay, Grandpa. Good night. I love you to the moon and back. I love you to the moon and back too, Grandpa. Good night. Good night, Princess.
sorry. I'm sorry. Mommy. Thank you for bringing this out, Mommy. Now I can count all the days until Christmas. Well, hopefully you'll be home by then. Don't worry, Mommy. I will. Come on, Lucy, breathe. Lucy, breathe. What's happening? Lucy, breathe. I don't know. Lucy, breathe. I'll go get the nurse. Hurry, go. Lucy. Lucy, breathe. Lucy, help. Lucy. Nurse. Nurse. How can I help you now? It's Lucy Shimmers. She's having a hard time breathing. Page Dr. Stanswick, room 202 immediately. Okay, I'm on. Dr. Stanswick, room 202. Dr. Stanswick, room 202. Stan. <laughs> She can't breathe. All right, all right. Here we go. You're okay. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. Deep breaths. There you go. You're okay, Luke. What's going on? You're here. She's having a hard time breathing, but we started her on oxygen, and Doctor Stanswick is on her way. When? When is she gonna be here? We just made sure she will be here momentarily. Seems like she's more stable now. Let's transition her to a nasal cannula. Right away. Hey, sounds like you had a little scare. Are you feeling a little better? Hmm? The bacteria in her lungs is causing some inflammation, which is making it hard for oxygen to reach the blood. That's why she's having a hard time breathing. Lucy, I'd like to listen to your lungs, if it's okay. Can you sit up for me? Oh, thank you. Okay, deep breath, ready? Good job, one more. Okay. Thank you. Together. Everything okay? Well, her exam hasn't improved and she still has crackles in her lungs. I've reviewed her latest blood test and her white blood cell count continues to be elevated. What does that mean? It means that she's not responding to the antibiotics we've been giving her. I've consulted with an infectious disease specialist and we're going to start Lucy on two new antibiotics to help her with her infection. Lucy, do you mind if we get another x-ray? Oh, please. I know this isn't easy for you, but we're gonna do our very best to help you get better, okay? Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, doctor. We're gonna start you new medicine, okay? Then you can breathe better and feel better. We love you. We're not leaving your side. We'll get through this. Yeah. Stop, please, Daddy. Hi. Hi. I'm sick. I got arterial ammonia. What's wrong with you? My kidneys don't work. I need new ones. Where do you get them from? Someone has to give me one. I'm not going to live very long. Daddy? Yes? Do I have kidneys? Yes. Two? Why? I could give you a mine. That's not how it works, sweetheart. Why? Because you need them. Take care. you talking to him, okay? Why? Because I said so. It might be dangerous. I think he's nice. He has tattoos like you. I 
it doesn't matter. Tattoos don't make you good or bad. At least don't know. Jesus loves him, why can't we? Just mind me, please. Yes, Daddy. Okay, sweetie. See you tomorrow. Love you. Love you. Right. How about a book? <gasps> Let's let your bear listen to. Which one do you want to read? Oh, I like this one. She looks just like you. Yep. And that little curly spot. Yep. Sweet child of mine. I love you in the morning, at the start of every day. I love you in the evening when the sun shines. I love you when the wind is still. I love you in the summer sun. Hello, princess. Hi. That's a very pretty picture. Thanks. I don't think you'll be needing this for a while. Do you remember why? Because angels have power and I believe. That's right. Get your things and let's go, okay? Hey there, Lucy. How are you doing tonight? Good. Do you see my grandpa? I only see you. Is your grandpa here at the hospital tonight? Never mind. Here's a picture I drew for you. It's a picture of Jesus. Don't worry, you'll see your wife again. Thank you. I love it. You're welcome, Bart. Hi, Bart. Thank you. Hi, Bart. Come back. Yes, you did. Keep your word. She never told you your name, so we're still strangers. Oh, sorry. Edgar. That's a cool name. Is your tummy better? It's not my tummy. It's my kidneys. They're behind my tummy, sort of. Oh, I'm sick in my chest where I breathe. Sorry to hear that. That's okay. I think we both will get better. I sure hope you do. Can I sit with you? <sighs> Who's in that picture you was looking last night? What picture? I told you I'm looking at a picture. Can I see, please? Why is it all torn in half? The guard out there did it. I don't like him very much. Neither do I. We put to love everyone like Jesus. Do we put to love the mean ones too? I don't know. 
Is this your family? Used to be. I lost them. Maybe you should try finding them. I did some very bad things, and they don't want to talk to me anymore. You should try to find them and say sorry. Maybe they'll forgive you. I don't think so. It's been a long time. They will when you just believe. Who are you? I told you, I'm Lucy Shimmers. I'm five years old. I've never met anyone like you. I never met anybody like you. Will we be friends? Maybe. Where are your parents? My mommy and grandma are sleeping, and my daddy is going to be home tonight. Why are you wandering around? You're sick. You should stay in bed. I'm strong when my grandpa's around. He's an angel right now. See over there? Do you see him? No, but I'm sure you do. Yep, I can. Where's your Bible? It's right here. What? I want you to read it to me to learn about Jesus. My favorite story is Matthew chapter two. My daddy reads it to me during Christmas. Please. Thank you. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judah, In the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chiefs, priests, and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where the Messiah should be born. Do you know that's a name for Jesus? I do now. And when they come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts, of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, out of Egypt have I called my son. I think that's enough for tonight. Okay, I'll come back tomorrow. I don't think that's a good idea. You're sick. I'm okay, my grandpa will be with me. Good night, Lucy. Good night, thank you. Lucy, thank you. Well, hi. What are you doing? Just going to my room. I gotta get some sleep. I bet you do. What's your name? I'm Lucy Shimmers. I'm five years old. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, my name is Betty Darcy, and I am 70 years old. It's pretty old, isn't it? Yeah, I is old. I it know it's sure also is. old. <laughs> It is. Do you know that's a Christmas tree? I do. Do you know what Christmas trees are for? Yeah, yeah. Christmas. Jesus was born on Christmas. He loves you. I think you're right, he does. And did you know that he loves you too? 
Yeah? Do you see my grandpa? I do. Hi, Grandpa. I knew you could. Do you have to go to bed now? I I do. I'll come back to visit later. Good night, Betty Darcy. Good night, Lucy Shimmers. Good night. Good night. Feel good, Grandpa. I know. Now, close your eyes, and you'll see me in the morning. Okay, Grandpa. Good night, Princess. Good night, Grandpa. I love you to the moon and back. I love you to the moon and back, to Grandpa. also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. <clears throat> Try my reins in my heart. A second chance. I've been praying tonight. Somehow I will know how to lean on What is it? I just want to go down to the west. Can you take me down there? I'm glad you're here. I know it's been a long journey. Is that okay? Sure. Are you girls ready? Nervous. Tiana hasn't seen her dad in a really long time. It'll be a wonderful surprise. He doesn't know you're coming. 
I'm going to go in first, and then I'll open the door for you to come in. Okay? Okay. Be right back. Edgar? Well, hey, Pastor Johnson. Wanted to come by and say hi and see how you're doing. I see you finally took me up on reading the Bible. Trying. That's all God asks of us. Works in mysterious ways, doesn't it? <laughs> he certainly does. And miracles do happen. There's someone here to see you. Oh. chances. Amen. You're a good pastor. And you're a good man, Wally. I'll see you later. Lucy. What's going on? And there's a family came to come visit him. Jesus answered our prayers. Why do you know so much about a stranger? Daddy. Why, baby? I know you're grown up, but there's some things you don't know. But you will. I'll be by your side, and I'll love you forever. I love you forever, too. Here's my Christmas present for Edgar. I wrote it down. I want to give my friend Edgar one of my kidneys. You're so sweet and loving, Lucy. You truly are one of a kind, but this isn't something I can do without your parents' permission. Please, Daddy. Why do you keep asking us this? Because I don't want my friend Edgar to die. Can a child's kidneys even function properly in an adult? Yes, it's been done successfully many times, and she has the right blood type. Please, Daddy. Okay, honey. Okay, we'll think about it. Pinky promise? Promise. Thank you, Daddy. Finish with my book, Mommy. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Who's it for? Edgar. I gotta give it to him tonight. But I'm not feeling good, Daddy. Can you take me? You mean you've been sneaking out in the middle of the night to go see him? Not by myself. My grandpa takes me. Okay, honey, I'll take you. Will you hold me, Daddy? Okay. Come here. Oh, I got a 
today a new day for Christmas. And then sit there. Here's your Christmas chocolate. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Perfect. Tell them what else we set out. We made cookies and some eggnog for Santa. Oh, I'm sure he'll love it. Yeah, I know. I'm really now, Daddy. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye. Let's take this off. Hi, Daddy. Come on, little one. You know her? That's Betty. She's my friend. Hi, Bart. Hi, Lucy. Merry Christmas. A very Merry Christmas to you, too. And him? Yeah, he's my friend. Daddy. You know him too? No, he's my friend. Oh, Daddy. Papa, he's my friend. He's going to make the logo go on. Do you see him? Luther, again, seriously? Come on, Max. I haven't touched this. Lucy. Hey, Edgar. This is my daddy. I'm James. Edgar. Nice to officially meet you, sir. You as well. This little girl appears. She's something special. She's changed my life. They came. My family came to visit me, Lucy. <laughs> you knew. I told you that I'd forgive you. You did. Thank you, Lucy Shimmers. Welcome, Mother. of a sad man with tattoos. Jesus told me you needed help. Then I saw you. I told you Jesus loved you. You did. <gasps> okay. I better get going now. I can't breathe really well. My whole family is staying with me for Christmas. Oh, that's wonderful. My family's coming to visit me again, too. I hope they will bring you a Christmas present. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Edgar. Merry Christmas. Something is seriously wrong with this place. Okay, well, over at the nurse station, a bit of an information desk. You know, nothing regarding ghosts or anything like that, but, you know, we do have some therapists that we could refer you to. And... I don't need therapy. Well, you know, maybe you just need to relax a little bit, sit down, get some water in you, eat some fruit or something. Hey, Edgar. Is that key? What's this for? Your handcuffs. 
But I'm not sure what else you would need from me as far as... I don't need game. anything from you. This just keeps going off. I don't want it to go off. I just want to sit on my chair, play my game while the night passes, and not have to deal with other people. Okay, then please just do that. Don't touch the door anymore, okay? I haven't I have, touched the I have door. I the patience I need to get to. I'll see you later, okay? Fine. But this place is more like a psych ward than a hospital. <laughs> Can they do something? I'll go get the nurse. Please. I love you, Lucy girl. Daddy, can you tell me a story? Yeah. On a time, there was a beautiful little girl. Is she a princess? Yeah. The most beautiful princess of all. She was loved and adored by her mommy and daddy. And when she came into the world, she changed their lives forever. What was her name? Lucy Shimmers. Don't cry, daddy. Shimmers of the Prince of Peace. Mom and Dad and I. I had a dream. Of a sad man. Jesus wanted to help him. One day I was playing, but I got sick. Jesus loves everybody. Jesus gave you his love. to draw. Chris. 
smile. <laughs> I can see. Things don't always go as planned. We don't always get what we want, but we always get what we need. We're connected, all of us. God's plan is truly marvelous. We just have to believe. Her heart may have stopped, but Lucy's other organs were perfectly healthy and were donated, we all get there? saving more than one life. And yes, Edgar did receive one of her kidneys according to her wish. While we weep here on earth, others celebrate in heaven. But God has a special way of healing all broken things. Edgar kept the faith and got that second chance he so desperately needed. He was eventually released from prison, reunited with his family, and never looked back. They never forgot about Lucy. How could they? They look back with gratitude and fond memories each and every Christmas and read both the story of the three wise men from the Bible and, of course, Lucy's book. In the Prince of Peace. One day I was playing, but I got sick. And I bet you're wondering what happened to Lucy's family. Rest assured that God didn't forget about them. They were blessed with a beautiful boy, James Jr. Ooh, all right, good job, James. Yes. They always kept Lucy's memory close to their hearts yes. good job, James. and knew that someday oh, they'd all be right. together again, forever. Right here with what are you looking at, Daddy? Grandpa Jackson and your sister Lucy. Her loved ones are never far away. As a matter of fact, they're closer than you think. All right, let's do this. Come on. For Christmas. Oh, for, yeah. All right. Oh, for Christmas.